All right. Talk to the chat. You guys ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Hello. Hello. How are you? We meet again. I know. I'm excited. I can't even tell. Oh, really? Okay, what's the question? My question is, what are you looking for on this podcast? Like, what is your purpose of this? You mean girl-wise or like... I mean, like, what do you get out of standing in front of different girls every night talking to them? Inspiration. Okay, Looking like, what one kind? To, one to help me build my kingdom, you know, one to help me, like... What kind of kingdom? Money, success, you know, adding value. But ultimately, you know, I feel like girls from Boca understand my lifestyle a lot, so... Yeah. A girl like you. Someone that can, like, go with you and match your energy. Entrepreneur, someone that's, like, headstrong. And someone that has their own stuff going for them, too. That's important. Like that's you. important. Like you. Thank you. Like you. Question, though. Mm -hmm. Why are you single? Um, I'm single by my choice. By choice? Yeah. Why? Career first? Well, I guess, like... I'm doing my own thing, and the people I've met are doing their own thing, too. So until I meet someone who's ready to combine our things into one, I'm single, yourself, you could say. Where yourself one, one out of ten? I mean, personally, I see myself highly as I should, but it's not for me to... That's if, not for someone else to, to see. Yourself, for yourself, what would it be out of ten? I don't think I can give a number to another person. Like, that's for them to think. And whatever they think doesn't doesn't really concern me. You know what I'm saying? It's through their eyes. And whatever I think of myself is through my own eyes, which is highly for sure. What could you improve on, you would say? What could I what? Improve on. I think that... I don't know. I think I could improve on myself before I'm ready for another person. You know what I mean? Like what? I don't know what you mean. In every aspect, I could improve on my drive for what I want to do for myself to build my business. I could improve on my friendships. I could improve on pretty much every aspect of my life until I'm ready to give myself to another person for a relationship. Why should I pick you? I'm not telling you to pick me. I'd never ask you to pick me. If you pick me, that's your choice. Next. Let's go. All right, man. Talk too much, man. Goddamn. Hi. Welcome back. <laughs> How are you? Hello. So, question for me. Um, what's your type, and am I your type? My type is beautiful, smart, wears glasses, and at the same time, <laughs> like, has a good smile. What's your type? My type is... Um, very compassionate and understanding and full of love, more like. So like me? I don't know you yet, but I could see that. Appreciate that. Yeah. It's a question, though. Like, let's say we were going to get together. What's, like, things you do for me as, as your man that you would do for nobody else? Um, as my man... It's more about if we both, like, understand each other on some type of level. Like, you know, not everyone's the same. Um, I would go half and, like, not half and half, but I would understand. Like, it could be half and half. It could be 70-30. It could be 60-40. Um, I would put in my part because I don't like the man putting in everything. Like, I would like to help the man in some type What's of way. What's your part? Um, you don't know. No, no, no. I do know, but there's a lot. Like, it could be, like, the love part. Like, some guys feel like they have to give most of the love in the situation, but that's not the case. Like, girls have to put in their part, too. And, um... Why are you single? <laughs> I'm single because I... My ex was... <laughs> He was bad? I don't know. I mean, he was trying to tell me that he, like, he was trying to tell me that, you know, I'm the truth and all this stuff. And I'm like, okay, you, you're not, you're not being the truth if you're lying all the time. I mean. Right. That's crazy. Yeah. Tell me more. Um, 
There's a lot. There's a lot. Um, <laughs> he, like, it's just a lot. Um, well, you know what? He's <laughs> gone now. You're free. That's all that matters. Yeah. Why should I pick you? That's up to you. I'm not here to prioritize myself. My, prioritize myself. My bad if I said the wrong word or accent. Um, Are you nervous? <laughs> yes and no. Um, okay, we're good. Thank you. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> here. Who's next? <laughs> Oh, shit. Anime lover. <laughs> What's up, Fresh? What's good? So, Fresh, I know you can get whatever woman you want because you're that nigga. But, <laughs> like... <laughs> but oh, like... shit, I'm that nigga. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. I like the energy already. The vibe is good. Okay, okay. Get Thank fresh. you, Fresh. But what can a woman do to make you happy? Like, like how, how can she stand out from all the rest? I think, uh... Miami has taught me a lot. Also mm -hmm. traveling the world too. Yeah. I would say for girls and my lifestyle, understanding it, because they say they can handle the lifestyle, but they really can't. That means everything like going out, mm -hmm. having fun, networking. Mm -hmm. but at the same time, other girls, you know. So mm -hmm. can you handle that? Oh yeah, I like girls that like girls. <laughs> no, 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 for me. Oh, definitely. Solo. Like I can definitely like fit to your lifestyle. Like you like to dibble and dabble and do what you want to do. You don't want to hear no fuss and complaining. Like as long as like, as long as you like take care of business like at home. I feel like that's all that like really should matter. Like men should have fun too. Okay, so let's say mm -hmm. we get together. Mm -hmm. We're at home. Mm -hmm. What anime do you put on, and what do you do to make me comfortable at home? God, because, like, I like old school anime, new school anime. So, like, I would definitely put on, like... What anime do you think I like? Hmm. I'm trying to think. Do you like anything with, like, action in it? A little bit of violence? Yeah, of course. What about Berserk? Ninja yeah, yeah. Dark as hell. that's dark as fuck, but like it's Bro, good to watch. Guts, <laughs> the guts, Griffith? yeah, blood, everything. Wow. Yo, oh, shut up, nigga, she shut might be the up, one, up, bro. Up, and then I can make yo, you like, steak. Yo, that's my nigga guts, though. Oh, Damn. Yeah, yeah. And I'll make you some steak. <laughs> <laughs> Ninja Kuwait. Yo, that's and crazy. Then, uh, or, or Ninja Scroll. That shit like broke my heart when I watched it, but it was so violent. It was good. <laughs> All right, we gonna talk some more, but you, you, you pass. Okay, thank you, Fresh. Cool. That'd be Berserk, man. That's yo, chat niggas. If you know what Berserk is, bro, like you know, you know what time it is, man. I know you know that. Yeah, Hello. Of course. Hey. Good to see you again. How are you? Good. Okay. So the question. Yes. For me, what is? It? Uh, what is your deal breaker in a girl slash relationship? You want the truth? Of course. <laughs> or you want to lie? No, always the truth. No ass. Oh, okay. I feel you. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Nah, I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I more, believe you. I'm really gullible. <laughs> there's more to it, but I feel like if someone is gonna say to me that they understand my lifestyle, and then they see it, and they're like, you know what? I still understand, but they really don't. Mm. I think you're just trying to cope to keep it going. Mm. But my thing is like, if we're together, it's meant to be. Mm -hmm. You know, it's gonna be way better because I feel like if you just tell me the truth up front, which probably not, but let me cap a little bit. Mm -hmm. On some level, if you're honest about it. We can make it work. Absolutely. Because if you play games, I'll play games too. <laughs> so question for you though. Why are you single? Uh well, I think I'm pretty picky, but I feel like single people use that excuse a lot. <laughs> so I <laughs> I was not single. Right, right, exactly. Uh, I think my dad set really high standards, but I had a boyfriend for a minute uh, last summer, but I got dumped over text internationally. So, but it happens. I believe in the phrase. Uh, no, no, no. We were here. I just went on vacation to my friend's wedding. Um, but I believe in the phrase rejection is God's protection. So it's all good. But yeah, I'm looking. <laughs> Wait, why did he dump you? Oh, you know, it turns out he wasn't over his ex-wife. So, you know, it's all his issues. So kind of uh, dodged a bullet there, I believe. <laughs> you sure did. Uh, okay, why should I pick you? Honestly, because we're all about truth here. Uh... You shouldn't pick me. I feel like anime girl is the girl for you, and I kind of want to go home because I'm so old. <laughs> I need my sleep. <laughs> I'm just here to promote my, my legs and my calves, so 
Koala well, Cops, follow. Like thank you. I like the honesty, so thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> Koala Cops with a K, thank you. <laughs> Promote the Cavs, okay. God damn. It's just strong. In front of the <laughs> hey, what's Deep going on? Deep baby in the house. What's good? Period. You already know. What's the word? Nothing. Just chilling. Um, so my question for you is, how often, if you had kids, would you see them? Wow. You just said kids? Yeah. Not dogs? No. If you had kids, kids. how often would you see them? He's black. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Okay, okay, no. To be real, though, um, I think kids are special. And uh, me not being there would be the best. For real? So yeah. you would be a deadbeat? Imagine it's nighttime. You walk outside. And I'm there. Okay. If my kids are like going to be like that, it would be the same way. <laughs> okay, I hear you. Who are you? Would you be with uh, kids a lot? Of course, all the time. Unless I'm handling business. Do you want to work or do you want to be a stay-at-home mom? Um, so I'm pretty much an independent, you know, hustle woman. So boss babe? A boss baby. So therefore, I would definitely handle business and then I would be with my kid for a majority of the time. That's my favorite, actually. Wait, mm -hmm. so question like, so let's hear a boss babe. If you have kids, how are you gonna, how, how are you gonna like, make time for them versus your work? Serious. Um, because I secure the bag, so I'll be able to have a nanny, and my kid will be with me all the time. But you aren't raising your, your kid, though, really. It's your nanny doing it. No, <laughs> it wouldn't be so because, you know, like, handling business doesn't have to be for as many hours, you know. When I have my, my free time, I will go, you know, check on my kid and, you know, be there with my kid. How many kids do you want? Two. How about one? Uh, yeah. One on a dog. Yep. Yes, I have one. Already? Already. <laughs> Knock him down. <laughs> All right, we're going to move on smartly. Okay. Okay, great. No more D-Baby, just G-Baby. Okay, one baby on the way. Oh, God. Woo. Hey, flashbacks, nigga. Flashbacks. I'm good off of that, my nigga. Whoa. Hi. Good Hi. to see you again. Good to see you, too. Okay, question for me. Um, how would you stop a fight between me and another girl? You want the truth or you want to lie? Um, give me, give me the truth first, then give me the lie. Okay. Soften me up after. <laughs> I'll push you on, I'll push you on to the girl. <laughs> You're fucking <laughs> sick. Stop the girl, bro. And then, the lie is, I would stop the fight with my force of my hand and say, she's my queen. Get off this punk of <laughs> sexiness. You filth, you three or four scum. She's my Cinnabon, bitch. Oh, the Cinnabon? Cinnabon's crazy. Cinnamon apple, bitch. Get it right. The Dark Knight is here. To... No, sorry. That's what I would say. Okay. <laughs> okay, question. Question for you. What's up? So, I'm all about curves, right? Mm hmm And to be honest with you, all the honesty mm -hmm. you have and no fear. But what scares mm. you in life? Scares me. Hmm. I don't feel like anything really scares me. Yeah. Probably that. Yeah? Why are you single? I'm single because this is Miami. You know how Miami is. It's tough. How many kids do you want? None. None? None. Why? I just don't see myself as a mom. But why? I just never wanted one. I never, like, I you when I envisioned myself in the future, it's mm. never been like, wow, I can't wait to have kids. Fuck them kids. Yeet. Gone. I'm not going to lie. I'm with you. Fuck them kids. For real. <laughs> Fuck them yeah. kids. Fuck them kids. Okay. Last question for you. Um, What's your goal in life then, if there's no kids? My goal is just to be successful, travel the world. By That's yourself? pretty much it. I mean, if there's someone to tag along, why not? Is there going to be space? There'll be quite a bit of space. Okay. Mm hmm All right. I'll see you soon. See you soon. Like that. All right. <laughs> okay. Last but not least. No. We no. got more? We got two. Oh, shit. Nigga, you picked them up. Yeah, I did. Yeah, man. I know, hey, man, I'm picky. You like girls. Nah, nah. I got hoes. Huh? What? Oh. Allegedly. In different area codes. 
Wow. I like this one the best. Mm. <laughs> Question for me, let's go. Would you collab with me on OF? <laughs> yeah. You know what's funny? I've been asked this before, and uh, embarrassing. <laughs> but no, no. Uh, to be real, you can't handle me. So for your video, it might suck because you're going to be screaming and hollering. That's what they like. Huh? That's what they like. I know, but like, not in a good way, though, you know? Oh. But to be, to be fair, let's do a test run first, and let's see how it goes. Off camera. Test run? Test run, yeah. Okay. You know, like when you buy a car, <laughs> drive it first. But you're not a car, though. You're beautiful. Mercedes. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Are you shy? No. <laughs> what? You, nigga, BBC shy? Come on, man. Uh, but also, we're Team Girth over here. Team Girth, not Lymph. So I don't know what you're trying to say about earlier. That wasn't cool. Sorry. That's right. Apologize to me. Sorry, Daddy. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Chris, shut up, man. Um, but to be real, though, why are you single? Why am I single? Yeah. Uh, my boyfriend just passed away three months ago. Why'd you like how to do this? <laughs> from, from you? From, from what? Uh, he was hit by a truck on his motorcycle. Damn, Is that for real? Yeah. RP to him. That's yeah. sad. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm glad he made way for me. Um, wow. Nah, that's nah. crazy. Nah. <laughs> but no, um, honestly, honestly, I got to say this, though. You're both coming to Miami because here in Miami is tough. And I feel like for you, you need the rod of discipline. Yeah. Yeah. I bid you farewell. See you soon. <laughs> hey man, that last comment had me kind of. God damn. Hi, Fresh. Right, Fresh? That's it. Hi, babes. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Okay, we're gonna make this long. I like long. I like. You're cool. You're dope. Yeah? Yeah. What, I can what? tell that we're vibing already. You know why? Why? This is good energy. I know. I always fuck with you. You're cool. I know, right? You are too. Thank you. But I know Chris answered this earlier, but why are you single for real, though? I'm not going to say I'm waiting, so I'm not waiting for shit. It's like, if I vibe with you, I vibe with you, because I don't got no type, so... White, Asian, black, Indian? I don't have any type. If I vibe with you... Short, tall... Okay, that's where the type ends. It's where it goes. <laughs> you have to be at least, like, taller than me, you know? That's all. How tall are you? I'm five foot six. Wait. Yeah. They know that was about a kiss. Well, you should go some DSLs for real, though. Oh. And it's natural. Everything's natural. Mm. Hi. So, what should I pick you? Um. <laughs> that was good. Um, I think you should pick me because each time I've been on the show, I've always vibed with you each time. You don't. You probably don't remember because you go around with a bunch of girls. But I always vibe with you. No, like there's always been a bunch of girls on the show. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah not like that. Yeah. You vibe. You're a vibe too. I'll I like see you. you in a bit. You gotta pick one. Okay. Wait, is it one more? Yeah. All right. I'll okay. See you in a bit. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Here you go. Okay. Oh. Last one on the list. Hey, how you doing? Good. I'm good too. Do you know the way? Yeah, you know the way. To my heart. Of course. Where That's why it? I'm here. Where is it? Forward, your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> what's the word? What's the, what's, what's the question for me? All right, so um, you see my feet? Look at them. Y'all want to see them? No free promo. Um, you suck toes? No, nigga. They suck my toes. Ah, can we see your toes? What? Of course not. Take the sock off. Of course not. Why? You said they suck your toes, so let's see the poof. You don't want these. But you just said they suck your toes, so let's see what they suck. My nigga. What's up? I, I want to see the left foot. We did this show one time uh -huh. where Michael Blackson uh -huh. and myself showed our feet. Mm -hmm. It was bad. Okay, but I want to see your left foot. So can you take out that left sock for me? Just the left sock. I'll, I'll tell you this. Okay. I'll take off one sock. Okay. But the right side. Okay, let me see the right. Chat. Okay. Chat. You got to get the right Yo, foot. Chat. <laughs> chat. I'm a warner before I take my, my, my sock off, bro. Mm -hmm. I've not cut my nails. Oh, my God. 
in seven months. Oh, seven? Oh, I'm also going to warn her, uh, chat niggas. You know, I put on cologne, <laughs> but not on my feet. <laughs> okay, let me see it. Can we get, can we get a drum roll or something? We're finna see some toes drum for free. Drum roll, please. Yeah. <laughs> You ready for this? I'm I'm so ready for this. Limp or girth? I want to tell you after I see your foot. Oh my god. Okay, let's go. Okay. Okay. Chat niggas, you you ready? I take care of my feet. No, he, yeah, no, he definitely does. That's, that's good. They're not that bad. They're not bad at all. They don't even stink. Wow, good for you. Good for you. My feet nice though, but you good either. You got some nice feet. I got some nice feet. Nice oh. ass too. Say shit. So why should I pick you? Um, I'm trying to find a reason why you shouldn't. Mm. Uh, Can you handle my nigga? You tell me. You think I can handle it? I don't have that, but I mean, I'm just curious. You say you don't even have that? No, nah, it's really small. You gotta vet for yourself, bro. I nah, can't. Nigga, I'm being honest. Uh, nah, you can't tell me it's small. You gotta, you gotta treat me. Come on, try again, try again. Tell me, go back, go back. You gotta tell me something. Why don't you intrigue my mind a little bit? SBC do winning. Okay. SBC is winning. You know? Okay. That's, that's my new logo for this year. Mm -hmm. You know what it stands for? What's it stand for? Small business corporations. I like that. Inside of you. Come on. Nice. <laughs> Okay, so what okay. you think of me? What you think of me? I like you. Uh, okay, okay. So we third uh, round? We go we going to pick right now. Okay, we going for it. Type shit. Type shit <laughs> future. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Castle them hoes. All, right, all, right, all the all right, ladies, all right. can y'all please come right in front of Fresh so he could pick y'all? Please real quick right in me front, and my, uh, right in front. Yep, right there, right there, right there, right there. Fresh. Yeah, Fresh, why you pick so many? You don't got no type. He likes the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, this is the only thing. Morton, Morton, Morton. Come on. I need you, Morton. Morton. Girl, how we finna oh, get in here? Okay. All right, I'm gonna just. Yeah. <laughs> All in one way. All right. So, okay. Fresh, I'm just gonna point, and then you just say yes or no. Cool? I can pick more than one, right? No, you need one for a speed date. You only have one? You want two for a speed date? Yeah. Okay, you okay. two out of all of us, so okay. pick your two and then say no. All right, so... Wait, hold on. Can I get three? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I'll be quick, I'll be quick, I'll be quick. All right, so I want, so I want three. three. It's going to be a minute wow. each round, then. I'm fast, I'm fast right. with it, you know? What is you giving? All right, so three? <laughs> okay. All right, so would you go with G-Baby? Yes or no? I would have, but the kid, though. Fuck them kids. <laughs> I'm sorry, bye, G-Baby. Bye, G-Baby. <laughs> the kid, though. I got flashbacks from last time. That shit was tough, man. <laughs> that nigga was a. Uh, no, sorry. What? <laughs> oh, what? Um, All right, we have Anime Girl. How you feeling about her? Moonlight. A little moonlight for your system. She put Berserk, man. Damn. Yeah. Berserk? That's a good answer. Well, okay. you know, but, but you know the problem? What's the problem? They didn't finish the anime. Ooh. No, they didn't. Like, they, so they finished I, it in the manga, though. So I'll be mad at you for putting manga? me on to that. So, nah. Uh, I understand, <laughs> I love you, though. That's love. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So, we have our lovely baby right here. So your cinnamon apple. If <laughs> I go to battle, I feel like you would protect me. Oh, yeah. And I feel like that's what I need in my life. <laughs> because, listen, I don't fight. Oh, wow. I'm a lover. Okay. Then I fight. Wait. Okay. Really in the well? bedroom. Uh, you understand me? <laughs> Diddy style. Wait. Wait a minute. Pause. <laughs> okay. So is that I'm a kidding. yes or okay. no? Okay. <laughs> That's a yes. That's a yes? All right. right. So wait in the waiting room for me, please. All righty. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Um, all right. We're going to, can y'all pop up? Y'all three? Okay, okay. There we go. Okay. There we go. So we're going to go. <laughs> we got SZA look alike. The vibe is there. Pick at you. Ah. All right. Get right. to the waiting room. Last four here. All right. 
one, because you told me three. Okay. We got Hailey. You know what? Not you. Oh, no, bye. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fix your teeth, bitch. Um, no! Oh, oh, um, God, don't do her. Don't do her. Um, it's fresh. It's no longer fresh. <laughs> almost, but not quite. I love you. Oh, my God. All right. Hands? My Shane is, is real. <laughs> Should we hold hands? The last two. All right. <laughs> she cheated. She cheated. She gave you a wink. She cheated, bro. What the fuck? All right. You know what I want real quick? A twerk off. Go ahead. The winner. Let's go. The winner. We're here. Twerk off. We're right here. What you got? All right, jiggle them shits. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. That's how we're gonna do it. Shake your titties, shake that ass. Let's see who got Girl, it. Girl, I'm in a tight dress. Yeah, and I don't feel like my my butt gonna do it right in this outfit. Oh, God damn! Yeah. Like, I'm out feel like I'm gonna get it right It's gonna do it. God damn! <laughs> it's gonna do it. <laughs> okay, okay. All jokes aside, Two I'm sorry. Later. I gotta go with... White, white is right. <gasps> Just saying. White is right. Okay, we get to go. It is what it is. Yeah. All right. Let's Wait. Go. Haley's for the whole team at this point. Can I have both? No. You said white is right. Black is too. Okay. At night. Bye. Bye. Nah, nigga. I'm what? Really? Nigga, I'm different. You picked Haley. All right, cool. You so, did not. You picked Haley. <laughs> yeah. Both All right. Uh, what well, you gotta say for Myra Ryan? I need the um blonde girl. Bro, you said right, both of them. Fresh, you both of them, yeah. We taking us both. Both of them, yeah. Fresh, you you don't don't want to fuck it. That. Black and white. You did not just say that. Hey man, I kill that shit. Nigga. You, you <laughs> did not just say All that. All right, this is gonna be Myron's I'm, I'm round. I'm way faster. Myron only. You only have two girls. <laughs> you only got the two bloods. Yeah. <laughs> Myron All right, Kaylee. Democrat I mean, J I keep messing up your name. I'm so sorry. Right, come Democrat, on, baby. That's L. Come, come. We Trump gang come, over come. here. Huh? Can she go with that? She's first. Okay. Bro, Fresh did not really say that, bro. All right, we got Myron, y'all. Yep. Myron. Let's do it. Hey, Myron got the jean jacket on, though. Oh! Bro, yeah. Shut up, fag. <laughs> what was that? Okay, Myron, so, give me like two minutes. Off, no, we got it. We got it. We're good. Uh, okay, she has her question. She was yeah. funny. No, she has her yeah. question. Okay. Sweet. Like right, good and everything. All right, cool. Yep. Go ahead. Um, so I heard you were a uh, fed in your past time. Yeah. Something like that. Yes. Can you explain? Well, I mean, I was a special agent homeland for seven years, so I did criminal investigations. Okay, so could you like cough me or something? <laughs> well, those are over there. Oh shit, she brought. Oh shit. <laughs> you want me to? I don't have my handcuff key here, so I don't want to handcuff you here. But yeah, it's typically. You're the professional. <laughs> You're the professional. Well, here's the thing. These are these are my old handcuffs actually that I used to use. But um, I don't have my handcuff key here, so I don't want to like handcuff you right now because I wouldn't be able to get uh, it off. Oh okay. But yeah, you just lock it here and then boom, you flick it and then it cuffs right over. You really want me to do it? No. I don't know if I got my key. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I had my, I, I can't find my handcuff key. If I knew it, if I had it, I would, I would do it. But, yeah. But yeah, that was back in the day, an old. Back life. in the day. An old life. Tell me more about it, though. Uh, well, ask me a question because it's just a very broad topic. Okay, so, um, what do you look for in a girl then? Uh, at this point, uh. I don't believe in monogamy. I'm always going to have multiple chicks. It's just how it is. Gotcha. Um, and then as far as, like, I have... I'm very picky when it comes to, like, you know, giving a girl, like, uh, th that I'm going to, like, see seriously or whatever. But, yeah, I don't believe in monogamy is the big one. Yeah. So when you say you're, like, with... super picky, like, what is it about it then? Like, what about a girl are you super picky about? Uh, a bunch of different things. Um, her past, what she does. I mean... There's some girls that like her for fun, and then there's some girls that like you white fuck. Right. Or, yeah, so that's just kind of how it is. That's, I think girls do the same thing. There's guys you friend zone, and then there's guys that you actually find arousing and attractive. Of so, course. Same thing. So for you, what's a girl you would wife up? 
to get a title, that's 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 a lot. That's 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 we don't have all day for that, but like yeah, it's a lot. There's not like a couple things you can name off that like. Uh, not annoying. Okay. Not a whore. Uh, not loud. Not obnoxious. Okay. Um. You know, if I bring her in a room, is she gonna embarrass me? I would say that's a pretty good litmus test. You don't want your girl to embarrass you. But do you well, like? Do you want someone fun though, still, or like? Yeah, I mean, it depends. If if, if we're just really? dating or whatever, then yeah, fun is fun is cool, and then you go from there. So you know, obviously, you don't want someone that's boring and shit. Right. But at the same time, you don't want someone that's like super obnoxious and annoying, too, right? You know, there's the, always that delicate balance. Yeah. So. And I feel like the more you get to know someone, the more you'll figure yeah. that out, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, um, they always say you can tell a real person when they start drinking alcohol. You know, I mean, I don't really drink, but uh, but that's a good one to tell. Because, like, if a girl's, like, getting sloppy drunk all the time, not something you want to fucking... Right, of course. That's annoying. So, so do you have, like, a, a age that you that you go for, or is it, like, just whoever you meet? Uh, I typically like to, you know... Typically, 20 to like 28, 29. I try to stay in that range in the 20s. Uh, I, you know, I don't like dating girls older than that typically because then you just, they don't want to fucking listen. They don't want to change. Like, they have their habits, their hearts. Why, why 20s though? Like, that's kind of like, I feel like that's pretty young. It, not really. I mean, I'm 34. Uh, you know, women in general want <laughs> guys that are seven to 10 years apart. Um, and just older women just come with baggage a lot of times. It's a pain in the ass to deal with them. True. From a male perspective. True. Because remember, you're supposed to be looked at as, like, the leader to come in. Then right. you deal with the older chick, and she's, nah, man. Right. Ass. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything so, else? So, do you have any Do you have any questions for me? Uh, hmm. I mean, we would just hang out and see where it goes, right? Yeah. Um, right, from an attraction standpoint. But, like, the big thing that girls always get o can't get over is, like, I'm not monogamous. I don't believe in that. I think that's stupid like i'm not gonna work my ass off to create a certain you know lifestyle for myself and everything else and then like have one girl i think that's the most ridiculous thing ever so why not monogamous why be monogamous like i'm just asking because like i'm just curious on the on the matter why not not monogamous yeah i, I just said it because like i'm not gonna like bust my ass to create a, a legacy and have just one girl that's stupid like that's just not that's just not in a male's DNA. But like, to be why with one not girl. one girl? Be because why? What? Because men want variety. We don't want just one girl. That's a lie. In and what sense, though? Like, you want variety in what? With sex. Okay. Men want variety. Like, they want a white girl one day, a black girl another day, a Spanish like, girl one day. Like, strictly for sex, is what you're saying? Typically, yeah. That's where the variety stems from. Like, you can have like. One or two main chicks, right? That like you actually care about, and then you have, you know, having sex with a bunch of chicks, whatever it may be. Gotcha. Yeah, hey, I'm just telling you what it is. Like this is how men think. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, I we mean... we don't. No guy wants to be monogamous. You know what I mean? So it's like, and and I'm at a point now in my life where it's like, I'm just blunt. I'm not gonna be monogamous to you. <sighs> and then the fuck off. Like I'm I just go talk to another girl. That's how I kind of look at so, it. So. Guy, some guys might not want to be, but, like, do you think some guys, like, are for, like, a monogamous relationship? Or do you think, like, all guys... Uh, of course there's a minority, but a majority don't. A majority don't want it. They, 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 they definitely want, you know, multiple girls. So you don't, so you don't believe in, like, that, like, lo like, not love at first sight, but, like, that, like, in love feeling of, like, just, oh, she's the one. Like, do you believe no, that's in that? Gay. That's gay. That's, it's, it's not real. It's it's this whole love at first sight, whatever it may be, or she's the one. There's no such thing as the one. I think that's a fairy tale myth. What about the people who are like, um, super in love, loyal, married, and like they're they're having like? Do you think low key he's like, I'm wishing. I mean, something uh, else, uh, some of the lo longest lasting marriages is like when a guy stepped out a few times and had another girl, right? It makes you appreciate your your main girl more. When you go out and have a couple other girls, it really does. It, trust me, I know. So, because um, you're like, damn, this girl's annoying. Fuck, was the sex worth it? And they're like, damn, I, I miss my main chick. It actually makes you, it's crazy, if, you know, and all the guys out there that have like multiple girls, they could attest to this. 
when you have a main girl and then you hook up with other girls, you'll be like, damn, these bitches are stupid. And then you'll go back to your main girl, like, appreciating her more. Because, because, so... Because for us, sex is, like, not, it's not mental like it is for you guys. Right. It's strictly physical. But you just said, like, you would go back to that other girl because of her, what, her personality? Like, the way... Yeah, like, that you don't, that, like, she doesn't annoy you or whatever. Like, or, you know, because the hottest girls are stupid and annoying most of the time. So, like, you know, you deal with them and you're like, oh, my God, that was draining. You just go back to your main girl, like, okay, this is a lot better. Like with being around her at least because of her like personality though and like yeah because it's not annoying okay yeah like the, the the reality is like most most females are just annoying i'm going to be very honest with you Misogyny. they're very annoying what mis it hit the misogyny sound effect Misogyny. Yeah. Misogyny. Now, a lot of them are just annoying <laughs> so it's like yeah hey I think it's an um, FBI risk. FBI risk? <laughs> FBI risk. Yeah, FBI risk. Yeah, that's Yo, I don't lie no more, bro. <laughs> like, fuck this shit, man. Like, I know it's all about selling the dream and shit, but it's like, man. No, 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 no. I don't want no headaches, bro. So what does that mean, FBI risk? I'm not hip. Oh, because I'm being very direct with you. Because I used to work for the Fed, so they're saying FBI risk. Like, this is how they're saying this. Song. Like, you never heard the term Riz? Oh, Riz. I Riz. thought you said risk. No, Riz, 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 Riz. <laughs> oh, okay, so Riz me up if you could right now. That was my Riz. Yeah. That was the Riz. That was the, Riz, yeah. the best no, you have. That was the Riz. Yeah. That was the Riz, man. Honesty. Do you have Honesty like a, is the new Riz. You don't have like a Riz, like you don't have like a line or anything. Like, what's your best like pickup line or like, if you had to Riz me up, like, what would you do? What they call it nowadays. What I used to say, right, when I would, like go up to girls and like call the person, I'd be like, "Hey, you're almost as cute as me." Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> It's rizzing a girl up. I know, it's not really rizzing, it's just funny. Right, like, it's just funny. All right, okay, so if you're trying to get with a girl, like, what are you going to say to, like, to, like, make her feel like, oh, okay, I'm going to go home with him because he's really showing interest. Like, there's, ob like, obviously girls go home with um, guys because of the way, like, they talk, the way they're saying, like, what they're saying to them. Well, 80% of communication a lot of times is um, not verbal. It's just body language a lot of times. Right, okay. So so what I'll do is, like, I'll just kind of observe a girl's body language and just go off of that. If she's... Because it's very obvious when a girl isn't interested like that. So I, I, I'm, i like, the type of dude, like, if a girl's not interested, I just, like, move on. I'm like, man, fuck this shit. Because you're better off finding a girl that's actually interested in you versus trying to build interest with a girl that isn't. Yeah. It becomes very labor-intensive. It becomes a waste of time. And I just learned this, like, throughout my 20s. Like, just, like, trying to build interest with a girl is, like, a lot of times it's just... It's a waste of time. So you might as well just get with a girl that finds you attractive in the first place. That's why I'm such a big proponent of, like, doing the work outside. Like, going to the gym, making sure you have your money on point, speaking in a certain way, have your tonality on point. And then girls just gravitate towards that and respect it. No matter what you say. It's more about how you say it, your tonality, body language, posture. That means a lot more over, like, ooh, let me go ahead and have some pickup lines. Like, fuck that Yeah. Shit. No, I agree with that. So, I agree with yeah. that. It's, 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 you could say the craziest shit to girls, right? But if you say it with a smile on your face... They'll be like, uh, like we're gonna go fuck tonight, haha. Ha. She'll be like, oh sure, you know. But if you're like, we're gonna go fuck tonight, she'll be like, what the fuck? Facts. This is a weirdo. Facts. So it's all about how you say things with the girls, is what I've learned. How you say things. I don't think that direct line, but what what direct line? Oh, we're gonna go home and fuck. Oh yeah, like... yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, but if you're saying it in a funny way, you know what I mean. The girl will like respond. Re she'll be receptive to it. True. But, I think humor gets gets a lot of girls. Yeah, but that's what I've things. noticed from interviewing chicks. Like it's just. Women really care about how things are conveyed to them versus what's conveyed to them. That's one of the biggest differences, yes. I would say, yeah. versus talking with men versus women is, like, girls care way too much about how it's said. Men care about what is said. Oh, okay. Yeah. Men no, care I about agree. the content of the information. Yeah, because, like I said, like, personality goes a long way for me. So, mm -hmm. like, how you said, how it's said. Because, like, if your personality is good in the way you say something... I, then I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what girls respond favorably to. You want to move her mic up a little bit? Oh, she's good. Uh, next? Yep. Cool. All right. All right, Haley. Haley? Yo, Haley right. for the whole team. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> All right, look. Hey, yeah. Right here. <laughs> she had a question for me, right? It's, it's They, they asked me a question, yep. right? Go ahead. Hey. Hi, how are you? I'm great. Um, so say we went to dinner... And we went home together. What would happen? Uh, man, I, I see. Uh, earlier, I was like, I'd be down, but like, uh, hearing the story with your ex, I'm just like, oh man, 
I don't know. Like, I, I don't know if I can do it now. No <laughs> yeah. Offense. Yeah. Hey, that's, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I just. I don't know if I could do it. It, it would just. Feel, I would just feel wrong inside. So I. I just. I don't, I don't think I could do it. Nah, just laugh, man. Damn. Nah, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, nah, man. Uh, hey, yo. Do it for the dead homies. Yeah? Do it for the dead homies. Do it for the dead homies. Come on, man. Nah, man. You guys, nah, man. Bro, what? What are you playing? These guys are assholes. Nah, I, I, I just wouldn't be able to do it, man. I, I, I ain't going to lie. Like, when girls, like, uh, experience, like, certain traumas, I'm like, fuck. Because, like, I know. Because I've dealt with it before where, like, I've had a girl, like, had a recent um, traumatic thing happen to her. And then she like just I don't know what the fuck happens like they, they just go crazy so I'm just like man I don't never again yeah I, hey you might be perfectly fine and over it but I'm just like I made a rule to myself like when girls have like severe trauma that happened to them recently I just like I'm like nah man I don't want no headaches so yeah yeah so yeah I, I would just, I, I was I would just say for me it's a pass at this point I yeah you're, you're pretty though but just the circumstances I just got a rule so. Okay. Yeah. My condolences. <laughs> Damn, that's what you're going to say? Yeah, that's, that's, that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah.